I wanted to say congratulations for not only making a really great thriller, but a really smart film. I have not stopped thinking about it since I watched it. Good. So that's a huge, I mean, that's that's a huge accomplishment. Um, tell me about Repentance and how you came upon this story. Well, um, um, I, I originally made a movie that I wrote called The Guru and the Gypsy, and that was a, a film that I shot. And um, and as as a director, I sometimes go and experiment on, on making films, and and I'm go ahead and make films without sometimes even writing a script. So I, I made the Guru and the Gypsy, and um, in this one I had played uh, the Gypsy personally, which I had played before in another film uh, once uh, called Ripple Effect. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I kind of once in a while act in some of my films. And and uh, and I showed the, the Guru and the Gypsy to Forrest uh, because we had already worked together and and we were friendly and friends and uh, and we decided that it was a good movie and that possibly we should explore remaking it and at that point you know Forrest uh, came up with ideas on how to remake it uh, while allowing the first one not to be its workshop but remain its own movie so we brought in a writer and who basically took from took the story and uh, and created a, a new screenplay which is a different incarnation of exactly the same story so the way I came up with the story is that I created the story. I have to ask because I, I, I've seen Ripple Effect as well, and something that I love about both of your films is there's this kind of knock in the back of the film that's constantly saying karma, what you do always comes back. Yeah. So is that something that you're intentionally putting into these <coughs> stories that's important to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I just, uh, but in, I, I try to be subtle about it as much as possible. It's like nice to touch the nerve and move on quickly to something else because otherwise it, it makes the movie heavier from what it should be. Uh, but but karma is is in the subtext in everything I do because I strongly believe that uh, that uh, that it's there and very present and that the way we we live our lives, you know, um, we should be aware of it, you know. The, the thing that I've been dying to ask you since I saw this movie is even Forrest Whitaker's character, his name's Angel. Mm -hmm. Was that very intentional that that was his name? Oh, I didn't come up with a name. That's the writer who mm -hmm. wrote it, uh, the, the, the screenwriter who came in to, to help us out. But, uh, but I think it's very appropriate. And uh, because he is truly, you know, um, uh, an, an extraordinary personality and character in this film first. I mean, he just went into the belly of the beast, you know, somehow. and. And um, and made it all seem seamless. Um, at the end of it, it kind of had to happen. You know that that experience, that journey, had to be part of everyone's life in the movie. Whether it is Mike Epps or Sana or you know Anthony Mackie, they all got connected in that moment, which is a lie that happened. So so um, it had to be the work of an angel, you know, that brings everybody together and that manages to. To, to, to get this kind of um, 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 uh, sense of, of his truth. Uh, so this, 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 the sense of his truth ended up being real despite all odds, you know. I loved the casting of this film because a lot of these characters we're not used to seeing playing these roles. Um, but they were also amazing and believable. One of the things I loved about Angel's character was while you were terrified of him, there was still this feeling that you kind of wanted to give him a hug. Was that important for you to for, yeah. for us to portray that? For sure, because he's a victim. You know, he's a victim, and and uh, and I wanted I wanted to to have traces of that early on. Mm. Uh, so Forrest, in that sense, was extraordinary because because there are traces just from his being. You know, Forrest has this quality that uh, that's extremely endearing, and even when he's a hard, tough guy, you know, or a monster, like in cases in this film. Uh, there is, there is like that. Ex the, 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 there is the human side to Forrest that basically comes out of him without him even trying. So, so, um, so, and because he, it's such a complex story, and he was doing a monstrosity, really. Um, it, it, it was. Uh, I, I think that it, it made, it made it, uh, com it made it interesting to show that he. He had uh, that side to him with his wife, for instance, with his daughter, his vulnerability, his fragility. I mean, he's China glass, you know, about to break, and, and he still managed not to break somehow. He did. Thank you so much. We can't wait to have it on our screens. Thank you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. 
Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.